Heyo, it's your boy Coinstock here, back at it again, stuffing these duffel bags and collecting that cheddar. Before I begin, please, please, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a friend trying to educate you. All right. Oh boy, I got some news for you guys. Here's a hot news flash that's coming right for you. It's going to be about Mad Meerkat Optimizer today, if you kind of read through the title. But I want to get through the analytics and of MM Finance first before, oh boy, get ready. It's actually exciting for Mad Meerkat Optimizer. So $1.44, all time high, right? Hold on. And there's 10.4% in the green. Here's the market cap, circulating supply, total supply, max supply. And we're now rank number 248. I believe last time we actually looked at that, we were what? Uh, I believe, I would like to say 280. And now we're 248 so we're sub 250 now and like a week ago or a week and a half ago we were above 300 and now we're 248 all right we're getting some exposure boys all right so of course you know with a token like this that there's gonna be a lot of buyers a lot of sellers you know but it keeps coming up on the coming up and hold on let's go to the max chart yet again blips on the map but oh boy you see that little upward trend right there so mm -mm -mm, here we go so let's just go ahead and look at the mad meerkat finance so uh, uh chrono scan so 23,313 addresses and boom shakalaka we saw a really good incline from 22,436 from yesterday to today 23,313 so that's nearly a thousand in one day nearly so <laughs> that's pretty good, right? Now let's go ahead and look at the Mad Meerkat Optimizer chart, which is $10.86, 3.7% in the green. Here's the circulating supply, which is actually significant. It's going to be a part of what we're talking about today. 3,407,155 total supply. I don't know, two, like 2,809,588. And the max supply forever will be 5 million. Now this is significant right here. And this is the market cap, which will also be very significant in what we're about to talk about today. I highly suggest watching it all the way through. All right. And then boom shakalaka. Uh, you see some ups and downs. You know, I think, I believe this was uh, the all-time high. Uh, $11.04. No, sorry. The all-time high was a day ago with $11.51. And that's, uh, we're 5.4% in the red for that. All right, so let's just go ahead and get this out of the way of uh, Chrono Scan, which is 4,660 addresses, and boom shakalaka, that's uh, $10, I mean, well, 4,660 from yesterday to 4,585. And now, just take note right here that there are nearly four times more uh, holders in MMF Finance see right here 23,313 than to uh, holders in Mad Meerkat Optimizer but it has a sneaky little game theory in there so let's go ahead and look at it all right so I've been in this project for a minute right and I was thinking I was like wow like the uh, rap crow as we could see hold on if we go over here like you can MMO helps crow lovers get more crow you can stake it in there and get more rap crow correct all right so we got that down in there so i've been in this project for a while with all this rap crow and there's a thing of where you can compound it yourself manually or you can just claim your rap crow but there's some underlying game theory down there all right and we'll talk about that in a minute and this talks about the supply and blah 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 the minting but here's the really important stuff right here important points mmo is a deflationary token the higher the prices go the lesser mmo that is being minted which also means in reality there's a chance that all five million mmo tokens will never be fully minted so it can potentially not even see five million mmo tokens coming out with full max supply coming out which that in itself is pretty darn big right so it gives it more value because it's so scarce right so here's the really important part we're starting off with the following fee structure 30 percent performance fee 0.5 percent withdrawal fee if withdrawal happens within 72 hours of deposit 
For further clarification, the 30% performance fee is collected and given to the MMO stakers. For every one crow earned through performance fees, 0.25 MMO is minted and given to respective users. This amount that is minted is subjected to adjustments, okay? There are there could be adjustments. In the event MMO price goes up, minting will be lesser. So long as the price of MMO stays above 4 crow, Users are actually earning more through this performance fee system. All of these fees will ultimately go towards staking MMO, thereby ensuring the sustainability and longevity of our project and benefiting MMO supporters slash holders. So here's the kicker, right? So we're on this website. We got our crow. Like, let's look at our crow. And remember this 923.38% APR. All right. And also... Um, remember how many people were staking, I believe it was like 25 million or so, well, $25 million in the uh, pool, right? So I was looking at this, right? And there's the compound feature and the claim feature. If you compound, it buys more, um, well, yeah, more MMO off the market and puts it right back into your, uh, staked portion. And that got me thinking that adds buy pressure. And you know what? All of this 25 million, if everybody collectively just compounded, 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 then we'd collectively have a huger, no, well, huger, bigger pot to auto compound. Well, a bigger pot of buying pressure. So, for instance, you're probably saying, like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So, you see 25,642,174.46 cents TVL of MMO. This is the uh, like the money of like MMO in this staking project, right? Well, staking up a uh, vault right here, right? And if you times that with the percentage, then that's just that's all the money uh, that's being that's buying this MMO. So let's let's see. Let's see. So if we took 25,000, I mean 25,642,174 times 9.23, which would be the percentage that um, that we just saw, well, yeah, I'll, we'll just call it that for now. So we would have, at the end of the uh, year, 236,677,266 dollars and two cents worth of buying pressure at the end of the year. Uh, hopefully, you know, like nobody like sells, buys, everybody just stays the same, keeps compounding the MMO, keeps staying in the project, like the entire thing stays the same, right? We could potentially see $236,677,266.02. But yet again, a lot of people buy, a lot of people sell, things go up, things go down, especially like APYs and stuff, but... This is what we could potentially see if we all collectively just compound, compound, compound. Now, you're probably asking, now, how much would that appreciate the price, excluding the price now? How much would that appreci appreciate the price? Well, yeah. Yeah, it'd be $47.33. Well, 33 and a half cents. So that would appreciate the price from $10 now to... Uh, for uh, $57 and 33 and a half cents, give or take. So that right there, it's autumn. It's like buying pressure. It's buying pressure that we could do ourselves if we collectively do it of just over and over compounding this MMO and it will appreciate the price more. And of course, I believe, I don't know about you guys. I'm not a financial advisor or anything and I'm not, you know, uh, this is not financial advice, but if we all collectively on MMO just started compounding the RAF crow, we can see exponential growth with the price, especially if there's more users onboarding this project. And of course, it's not only going to be these projects forever, like, you know, well, uh, liquidity pools forever. There's going to be different liquidity pools. There's going to be launchpad projects wanting, wanting to have like an auto compound feature on here. So, that can also add to the, uh, I guess I should say, sustainability of the APY, but that also brings into it too. So if we all just collectively just 
compounded, 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 we can add significant amount of buy pressure. But what do I know anyway? I'm just keeping you up to date on the down low. So I guess I'll uh, see you guys later.